out of all the different kinds of printers out there, which ones are the best for signing agents? Today, I'll be sharing five different printers that'll work perfect for signing agents. What's up guys, I'm Summer, and here on my channel, I wanna help you find extra income sources. As a signing agent, you will need a reliable printer that can handle printing hundreds to thousands of documents weekly. Signing agents are not required to have a certain kind of printer, but there are a few highly recommended requirements that you should look for when shopping around for your printer. Let me run you through some important requirements before listing off my five top printers. Number one, make sure it's a laser printer. You will be printing lots of loan packages that tend to be anywhere from 100 to 200 pages, and sometimes even more. Laserjet printers print quicker than inkjet printers, and they tend to be more durable. Even though buying an inkjet printer can be less expensive to purchase, consistently buying those ink cartridges will drain your bank account. Also, inkjet cartridges are water-based and smear easily. You do not want any smear text or you will have to reprint, which means wasting time and money. You need a printer that'll print crisp, clear text and will do so quickly. Researching how much ink will be for the printer you want before purchasing can also help you decide which printer is best for you. I have links to all the printers and their ink cartridges that I will be mentioning today in the description down below. Number two, PPM. Look out for how many pages per minute each printer has when deciding which one to buy. Your printer's PPM should be around 40 to 50 and at least 30 pages per minute. Number three, single tray or dual tray. Loan packages usually have both letter and legal size paper, so ideally your printer should have dual trays to hold both sizes of paper. But I know how crazy the prices of printers have been lately, and for that reason, I've been using a single tray printer. And you can too if a dual tray printer is not in your budget yet. If you decide to go with a single tray printer, you have multiple options when it comes to page separating programs. I personally use Adobe Acrobat only because I already had an Adobe subscription. Another option is page separator which I will link down below for you guys. Another option is the PDF page sorter that's on the Notary Rotary website. With programs like these, you first print all of one size and then switch the paper and print all of the other size paper. It is a little more work when you're prepping your documents for signings, so it's ultimately up to you on what works best for you and your budget. All right, now let's get to the printers. There are a lot of brands to pick from, but from my experience, my two favorite brands are Brother and HP. All of these printers I'm about to mention are all great printers for signing agents. They're in no particular order. First on my list is the printer I use, the Brother HLL2350DW. It's a compact monochrome laser printer. It prints letter and legal size paper, it prints 32 pages per minute, it holds 250 sheets at a time, it also prints wirelessly from your desktop, laptop, smartphone, and tablet, or connected locally to a single computer via its USB interface. It's a nice compact size, so you can easily keep it in the car on the go. Next on the list is the Brother HLL 6200 DWT. It's a wireless monochrome laser printer. It prints letter and legal size paper, has a 48 PPM. It has a dual adjustable 520 sheet capacity paper trays and a 50 sheet capacity multi-purpose tray. You can print from your mobile device via AirPrint, Google Cloud Print 2.0, Brother iPrint and Scan, and Wi-Fi Direct. The next one on the list is the older version of the printer I just described, so you can usually find it for a lot cheaper. It's the Brother HLL 5200 DWT. It prints on letter and legal size paper. It has a 42 ppm, so it prints just a tad bit slower than the 6200, which prints at a 48 ppm. It has dual paper trays, a 250 sheet and a 520 sheet capacity. It has mobile device compatibility with AirPrint, Google Cloud 2.0, Brother iPrint and Scan, Wi-Fi Direct, and a few more. Next on the list is the Brother MFC L5900 DW. This is an all-in-one printer, so you have the ability to print, copy, scan, and fax. And sometimes they run into situations where you might need to do fax backs, but usually scan backs are what the title companies want. It prints on letter and legal size paper, has a 42 ppm. The scanner supports multiple scan to destinations, such as email, USB, SharePoint, cloud services, and more. Scan to the cloud services directly from the color touchscreen, including Dropbox, Google Drive, Evernote, and more. And last on my list, but not least, I had to throw an HP printer on there because they're still great 
printers, but as you can tell, I'm a little more on the brother side when it comes to printers for signing agents. The HP LaserJet Pro M404N has a built-in ethernet and security features. It has a 250 sheet input tray, 550 sheet optional paper tray. It prints at a 40 ppm. It is a nice compact size, so easy to take on the go if needed. It is energy efficient and has a limited one year warranty. Title companies can have different requirements when it comes to printing loan packages, so always make sure to read the requirements that the title company or signing service sent you. So what exactly is not necessary when shopping for a printer? Printing in color won't be necessary. Monochrome, aka black and white, is all you need. It's not necessary to have duplex printing, which means print on both sides. For loan packages, it's always one side prints. Title companies do not like you printing on both sides of the paper, so duplex printing is not necessary. Your printer doesn't have to be anything fancy, it just has to print lots of one-sided black and white documents. If you're already using a printer, comment down below which one it is and how you like it. And if you're in the market for a printer, comment down below if you have any questions or the types of printers you're thinking of buying. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys!